My concern is how does Park and Planning engage our state delegation, specifically our, our multiple members on the Senate Budget and Tax Committee and the House Appropriations Committee in fighting for additional program open space dollars in the state budget, Me especially too. given this event, you know, yes. additional possibility that will be available to us soon. We have a very robust campaign. Uh, that really? Yes, yes. Not what we, our state senators tell me. Well, no, we do. We are, actually, I personally go to Annapolis, and uh, we have all the projects, and we meet with every senator. We meet with every delegate possible. We just run from one office to another office, and we show them the impact of not receiving the POS. What time of year? Excuse me? At what time of year? Uh, we do it usually right before the sessions. Right. Uh, we go in, uh, we start actually from December to get geared up for it, and as soon as the Annapolis legislation. I'd be happy started. to make some suggestions, but I would just suggest you need to do it long before the session begins. Yes, we, and you need to do it in Montgomery uh, County, not in Annapolis. You're correct. Oh, here? Okay. Yeah, that's where they are for nine months a year. Yes. When the budget's being drafted by the government. Yes, yeah. yes. And that was a decision that we start educating them. The interesting part was that uh, when we started a <clears throat> couple of years ago, we exactly realized what you're talking about, that it's a lot of education needs to be done to that they understand exactly how POS impact uh, our projects. You're correct. Right. And the law was specifically written to more. include urban areas, quick, um, yes. not just... You're really. correct. So yes. we should be going after every one of those dollars. We will do yeah. that. Thank, Thank you. you. I'd be happy to work with you offline. Sure. Ms. Florian, you have one yes, more question? Yes, one more question on this. Uh, I see on Circle 8 you've got uh, some uh, future expected costs like uh, increase in lease costs, but you also have the Wheaton Redevelopment Project Operating Budget Impacts. What is that, the Wheaton Redevelopment Project? That's a that's a combination of, uh, and Ms. Beck is coming to the table, that's a combination of um, general uh, upcoming expenses, including the debt services attached to the new Wheaton building. That's which Wheaton DEP, building. Oh, another thing, park and planning. Keep an eye on that. Uh, so you're charging, your, char your, par your element of the new Wheaton building against the Water Quality Protection Fund? Correct. You've got to be kidding. Again. That's a be really beautiful. Well, thing. The, the, the uh, park and planning. That's you're in that building too, so go do the math. Keith, can you keep an eye on that? We'll discuss this that. This is really getting beyond the pale. Well, the the, the thought behind that. I, uh, I I imagine there's thought. The, the, uh, I would get it. Yeah. The space the this. space costs that you see in the six-year fund display, the six hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars that we see, that will be coming out of the schedule. And then uh, DEP will be assuming debt service uh, for the building. So the costs that we're currently paying for the staff to do the work um, for their space requirements, that's going to turn into a debt service payment. Oh, so the people working on planning the building are also charged to this, right? No. No? I thought that's no. what you said. I mean, the project is being financed in um, basically a couple different ways. There's geo bonds, and that's covering the park and planning portion. Um, and some of the other general government portions as well. Um, there is funding uh, coming in in cash and also some debt related to DPS. There's debt related to um, solid, waste. Sol uh, solid waste is paying cash for their portion. And then the um, water quality protection charge uh, area would be paid, would be um, charged for the debt service for DEP. Uh, if you wanted later to, to have some different thought well, process if about Parks a is, if, if uh, it's a Parks building as well, so uh, figure out your costs associated with the building and send them the bill. Okay. Well, I don't think that the majority there, You're not going to want to do that, I'm sure. But it's saying, you know, let's, let's, let's be fair. On. But, you know, it's not right. We're going to move on. <laughs> Well, that's all I had on the DEP general fund and water card protection fund budgets. I noted some follow-up items and the reconciliation list items. Uh, the, um, the addition for the parks budget for the water card protection fund is not a reconciliation list item because it's not part of the general fund. 
that would just show up as requiring a, about a 35 cent increase in the ERU charge. Uh, so the council would have to approve that in order to, to fit what we've recommended here. But there's no uh, there's no reconciliationless process for, the, for that for that fund. Okay. Anybody feel like talking about bag tax? I noticed a little uh, line here that says. Oh yeah. Generally, has been showing an increasing trend over time, Why despite assumptions to... that disposable bag purchases would decline over time. So just a couple uh, of purchases at uh, Victoria's Secret. Have we learned anything from this program now that suggests that we ought to modify the program at all? Um, as you know, as you know, we um, continue to look at this. We uh, last year did in the summer uh, an increased outreach. We are going to be evaluating what we learned from that increased outreach effort and um, figuring out next steps for this program moving forward. But you know, I think the 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 need to continue to educate the public, the need that there are new businesses coming into the mix, um, we continue to see into that. And you know, now that it is a more mature program and that we have had the second phase of the outreach, we will have some data moving forward to inform us what we, what we want to do moving forward. So look forward to continued discussions on that. So what is the data as it relates to the grocery stores and the places where we really felt like uh, this is where we can convince people to come in with a reusable bag as opposed to Victoria's Secret or any place else that people are not going to walk in with a reusable bag. I, I don't have the breakdown of that data with me okay, um, would you today. Would provide the committee with that breakdown? Because yes. that's the piece. I've been a strong supporter of this program. We are, as people understand the only jurisdiction I believe in the United States of America that has extended this program as broadly as we have and I'm not convinced that that is the juice is worth the squeeze with respect to that aspect of it now if you have data that shows in fact people are are walking into department stores with reusable bags then so be it I felt like we could really make an impact at the grocery store, at the 7-Eleven level, at places like that, where people can, in fact, get their minds around, this is where we should bring a reusable bag. I don't think you'll ever find that at the hair salon. Okay. And so I just I ask you, when we first raised this question, the response was, we need more time of the program. As you say, the program is now mature. I think, and I think it is getting mature, and I also think the increased outreach that we did this past year will help inform decisions moving forward. I understand your concern. If I may. Mr. Hucker. Um, <laughs> Mitra, do you mind asking, answering a que another question? Um, so two of the three Montgomery County Senators on the Budget and Tax Committee, when asked how often does Park and Planning meet with you to discuss how to get more program open space dollars in Montgomery County, their replies are, it's completely unprecedented, and the other one, it's, it's extremely rare. So I don't think you have a robust program of meeting with our state legislators about how to get more program open space. Well, we try to improve on it using your recommendation, and uh, we actually work with our, uh, just to explain to you a little bit what we had done, was that uh, I thought you said you meet with them every year. You just yes. sat here and said you meet with them every year, and yes. they're saying you've never met with them. No, we meet with them at the, uh, the so Annapolis offices. I can bring you the list of the names. Could you tell me who are the names? Maybe I can, uh, which ones you just I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk to you offline yes. about it. Yes, no, But we there do. seems to be a no, we do. chasm, a, a, a disconnect here. Yeah. And, I, I don't know, but we have, uh, I personally went there and, uh, uh, you know, not, not this year because we received our uh, POS, but the last two years I personally went there and I met at least with about uh, 10 delegates. Mm -hmm. uh, and, it, and we actually had... Well, I'm like asking about, about Saturdays. Uh, we went on uh, a Saturday, they call it, uh, well... Um, I don't remember exactly when I went there uh, two years ago, which day it was. You went to the state bond bill hearing then. On this, a, it was I on went, a Saturday. This, this year I went to bond bill, but the last two years I went specifically for POS 
Okay. Actually, we okay. even have I, a that's, I, I understand. And I also have a state senator asking for a small pedestrian, inexpensive pedestrian bridge over Buckhorn Branch. And I can explain to you, but can, uh, this is Senator we, Mano's can project. Can we get that and spend some money on that? Uh, okay, let it's, me just explain that. It's hard to get our state senators to ask for the money that we deserve from the state budget if we're not taking care of their priorities okay. as well. We talked to Senator Mano, and actually uh, I'm going to call them just uh, this week because I have a new uh, idea. The, we met with DOT also. The bridge that they're asking is not in park and uh, park property. It's actually it's uh, in DOTs, and we have been talking with DOT also, and they have been involved, and they had uh, come up with some kind of cost estimate. So the program open space is uh, slated to be used uh, for open space in the par uh, you know, for the parks. And this area that they're talking about is not even parks sure. property. Well, I'd like to work with you to relay that request to DOT as well and catch up with your DOT contact. Okay. Sure. I can contact you, uh, and I'm going to talk to Senator Mano also. We can give them a walkway that from their, uh, you know, that area, they can come through the park and come, but the issue would be that they have to cross Lay Hill Road on a mid-block, and okay. that's we'll, an issue. We'll follow up with you and DOT on this, but sure. you understand my point, I think. Yes, I right? do. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome.